Chloe Fan, and today we are going to make sticky rice with chicken and sausage. Memorizing each line on your face Waiting anxiously for next embrace Conversation So what I have right here is uh, three cups of jasmine sweet rice. You have to make sure it's sweet rice or else it's not going to be sticky. Um, I soaked it overnight so that it's easier to cook. Um, it cooks faster. If you don't soak it overnight, do it for a couple hours so um, that it can cook really well. And the next thing we need is some chicken. And what you are seeing here may look familiar because it's from Costco and it doesn't have to be from Costco. Uh, but as long as it's a rotisserie chicken or even leftover chicken is okay too. Alternatively, if you don't want to buy a chicken already made, if you feel like that's cheating, you want to do it yourself, homemade from the very beginning, um, all you would need is just two chicken breasts and you would just steam that or boil it um, and then shred it. What you'll also need is some oyster sauce. This is um, the best kind of oyster sauce. It's the premium kind. It doesn't have to be this brand, but um, I find that this tastes a lot better than the other ones. We will also need some Chinese sausage, and uh, this is a brand that is very unique to California. It's really fresh, and um, you can taste the difference. We will also need scallions. You want to dice it up really thinly, and this is going to be for the scallion oil that goes on top. You need about two bunches, so um, scallions is also a really important part of this dish. And one other element of this dish is also fried onion. It could also be fried shallots, but um, this is kind of like the, the extra topping as well. We will also need some shallots and garlic. Um, this is going to just add a lot of extra pop to it. So shallots and garlic, and then we should be ready to go. When will I get to tell you? I melt from just the nearness of you. The first thing to making this dish is we are going to start the rice cooking and what we're going to do is fill up the steamer with some water, um, get the water boiling and then we're going to put the rice in there, um, get that started and then we're going to start the other parts of this dish while it's cooking. This right here is our steamer. Um, this is a very traditional Vietnamese steamer. Um, if you don't have something like this, uh, a double boiler or anything would work uh, as long as it has holes in it for um, the, the steam to be able to cook the rice. What we want to do is we want to take a tin foil and line it um, so that the rice doesn't fall through. Um, it will cook through um, and also it won't get dirty, um, the pan, so this is a, a good tip to have. Some people will use bamboo uh, steamers, but this works for me, I found, so we shall do that. Okay. And pan is lined. Okay, and while the pan is heating up, we are going to strain the rice. Okay, it's been soaking overnight. So that's nice and soft and kind of milky see-through if you want. This will make sure that your sticky rice is sticky and not hard. Put it all in there. You have to make sure it's sweet rice or else you're just going to have rice and not sticky rice. Okay. You're going to spread this rice in a thin layer. Yeah, you should do this before it starts steaming because then you're going to burn yourself. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut up the chicken um, and then shred the chicken to be used for the topping of the sticky rice. Um, the reason why I like to use chicken that's already um, cooked and rotisseried is A, it has a lot more flavor and B, I don't have to touch raw chicken, which is really nice. I am only going to use the chicken breast. Um, you can use the thighs and everything if you like dark meat. Um, I find that if you save them, you can have an extra meal. So. Um, I like to just save that for lunch the next day. This dish is actually super easy to make, but it just takes layers, so... better to touch this chicken than raw chicken. Right now I'm going to slice the sausage really thinly and then we're going to pan fry it. Um, but first we're going to cut about four lengths of these. The more you like, the more you can put on it. So um, there's no limit to this. If you like more, put more. If you like less, put less. You want to cut this at a diagonal. The thinner, the better. This is one of the luxuries of living in uh, 
Little Saigon area. This stuff comes to you so fresh. This uh, Asian type of sausage is a lot different from American sausage because it's, uh, it's a lot sweeter um, and it, the, the consistency and the texture is a lot different, but um, when it cooks up, it just tastes really, really good with the rice. Halfway through, you want to check this. Um, you can see it's starting to gel a little bit, becoming sticky. It is also an option for you when you're soaking this rice overnight to put it in chicken stock to give it more flavor. Um, I only did it with just water, but that is an option if you want to get a little bit experimental and feisty. <laughs> um, right now I'm cutting up shallots. For those of you who have never used shallots, they look like um, little onions, little red onions, but they are uh, a little bit more um, intense in flavor than onions because they're, they're little. <laughs> but I don't know if that's really the reason why, but um, I like to add this with the chicken so that it gives the chicken a little bit more depth. Um, I also add garlic so uh, the chicken is really flavorful. So that's an extra thing that I don't think is uh, traditional, but uh, it's something that I found uh, amps up the, the dish a little bit more so. You could cut slices like this, if that's what you feel like. I like to give options when cooking because uh, cooking is kind of personal in my opinion. Or you can cut it um, this way, vertically. But you don't want it too small because these will, um, they will become translucent and get smaller. So if you make it really small, then it'll become too um, mushy. So you want to have it, um, have some texture. Um, the rice has been cooking about for 15-20 minutes. You should check it periodically to make sure uh, that it's cooking right. And once you see that it's got this uh, kind of like a opaque look to it, then it's ready. Um, I actually just uh, give it a try to make sure that it's soft enough, and it is. So we're gonna take this off the heat and wait for the rest of the ingredients to be ready, and then we're gonna layer it. Remember the scallions that we cut the other day? We're gonna put it to use today. What we're going to make next is scallion oil, and it's also called mahan. One good trick that I learned about this is you want to get the heat really hot, the oil really hot, and then you throw in the scallions, and then you take it off the heat, and it'll cook perfectly. This may not be the best method, but I can feel it's really hot. You can test it if you want. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> so. And then you can just take it off the heat right away, and it'll cook. That way it doesn't get too cooked and then it gets kind of like an olive brown and then it looks kind of drab. This way it's still nice and fresh. It looks happy, doesn't it? I'm gonna be really careful with this because it's hot. None of these um, steps have to be done in order. This is just the order that I like to do it because the pan already has some oil in it now. Um, so I'm going to cook the sausage now. Um, you want to get, you don't even need to add any oil to this because the sausage will release oil. Um, so if you add more, it's going to get really greasy and we don't want that. So you want to get the pan hot. You want to add the sausage, but you have to make sure that you watch the sausage because it burns really quickly. And just make sure you keep, keep flipping them, keep flipping them. I personally like this really crispy so that um, on both edges you'll see a little bit of like a golden um, tan so to speak or sometimes I even like the burn marks. I know it's not good for you but it tastes really good. <laughs> okay, this is what I mean by the uh, one side golden. After this cooks up all we have to do is just cook up the chicken, season it and then we're ready to layer it and eat it. <laughs> I actually find that this is one of those dishes that if you cook it at home um, it just is so much more worth it than if you buy it outside because you can control the quality of the ingredients and you can control how much chicken you like or how much uh, sausage you like because if you buy it in the stores they give you so much rice and nothing on top so um, this is just, just one of those dishes that I feel you can make better at home so you should. When this is ready to go off the pan um, you want to put a paper towel to, uh, to catch the oil to make sure it gets dry. Um, I, I like to keep the oil in the pan so that I can use it next for the, the chicken. Now we're in the home stretch. We are going to put um, the chicken to cook. It's already cooked, but we are going to season it and give it even 
more extra flavor. So first thing we're gonna do is add some garlic and the shallots to the pan. Uh, what's cool about this dish is you can, you, if you've seen so far, I've only used one pan, so I only have to wash one pan. Um, so this is the oil from the sausage that we're going to just use and it already has extra flavor. It's like duck fat, but it's sausage fat. So <laughs> we'll use that, turn on the heat again. Then we're going to add about a tablespoon of garlic and this is about two tablespoons of the shallot. Just mix it up. You can tell it's already gonna be pretty amazing. Just by these two ingredients alone. I've never had a dish with garlic and shallots that I didn't think was delicious. That's just me. <laughs> Ready for the chicken to go in? You want to keep in mind that this chicken is already um, cooked and seasoned, so um, when you are seasoning it extra, go light. So all this will need actually is just a little bit more salt, a little bit more sugar, and then some of that oyster sauce. Maybe a tablespoon of oyster sauce. to add some black pepper. It's ready. We have the rice, we have the chicken and the sausage, the scallion oil, and also the fried um, shallots. We we're ready to just put it together and then eat it. So, first things first, rice on the bottom. This is a big bowl. That's all for me. <laughs> okay. Second thing, just add the chicken. Um, you want to layer this in a very even layer, a little bit of rice and a little bit of chicken and a little bit of sausage so that every bite has all three in it. Got some chicken in there and now we're going to spread the sausage. Here comes the magic. This is the scallion oil. You want to drizzle that on top. And for safety, add a little bit more pepper just to give it an extra kick. And there you have it, sticky rice with chicken and sausage. Bon appetit, or as we like to say it, smile.